what's the common thread between shopping at Macy's, going to South by Southwest this past year, and watching the Giants play at the AT&T ballpark? Now, if you're guessing uh, SF hipster hangouts or maybe ripoffs or something, you're being negative. Uh, but really what unites these three things is that all of these venues are using beacons to spearhead location-based experiences for their customers. Whether it's getting specialized offers depending on what aisle you're standing in, or maybe getting uh, notifications about nearby attendees at South by Southwest, or maybe getting exclusive deals for merchandise. You might even be able to get a tailor-made burger, apparently. Uh, all of these experiences are made possible by location-based beacons. And now, financial institutions looking to create location-based experiences will also have that opportunity using Digital Insights Beacon Platform. The last time you went to a branch, did you feel like you were a little anonymous? Did you feel like your branch could have been more attentive to what you were there to do? We wanted to show you how a more personal experience could look like using Digital Insights Beacon Platform. Ron here has been looking to refinance his home, and the rates are low, so he wants to get on it soon. And we all know how crazy Bay Area real estate can be. And typically, when he's interacting with his financial institution, he will just use their digital properties, like their phone app, maybe, or more recently, because he's an engineer, his smartwatch. Uh, and it uh, looks like he's checking his balance here. And he has a lot more money than I do, so that's probably why he's able to afford it and I can't. Um, but in this case, because the refinancing question is a little bit more involved, he doesn't want to introduce any confusion when he's going through the process. He'd rather talk to someone face to face. So he schedules some time with his local banker and he heads over to the branch. And this is where the beacon magic happens. As he walks in through the door, he gets a notification. It's a welcome notification. And when he opens it up, he can see that his financial institution is paying attention to what it is he's there for. It lets him know that he's checked in, that his banker, who happens to look a lot like me, is ready to help him pretty soon. So his financial institution is able to use Digital Insights Beacon Platform to customize the experience for their customer's entry. It's not just what their customers see, it's also what's happening in the back end. In real time, we can see what his branch manager is also looking at. At the moment when Ron comes in through the door, he is shown up on the, the, the branch management software tool. Here you can see Ron has been categorized by what he's there to do that day, and he's assigned to the specialist who can help him. The branch manager can get an overall view of people entering into the branch in real time and have them categorized by who will be able to help them the most efficiently. Also, this kind of data gives them a broad overview of who's been waiting, for how long, and give them a high-level overview of what the average wait time is. If it gets too long, maybe they can change things up to address traffic issues. Now back to Ron. He's finished talking to his personal banker, and he's on the way out the door. It's at that moment he gets another notification. This time, it's a notification prompting him proactively for his feedback based on his experience in the branch. Let's see what he says about his, uh, his experience. Looks like they did a good job. This kind of proactive reaching out for feedback is invaluable to financial institutions as they're working to improve their customer satisfaction. In the past, financial institutions would need to rely on their customers to find the surveys themselves. Or maybe they might send out surveys months after a visit has occurred, and by then, the skewed data from skewed memories might not be as helpful. With beacons, they're able to get these kinds of responses right when they can take action and be proactive and responsive. Now, sometimes people will say that financial institutions are slow moving and they're scared of risk, but we've actually had 
the opportunity to work with one of our very forward-thinking financial institutions on implementing this survey experience in one of their branches. A huge kudos to Safe Credit Union in Sacramento for having implemented a beacon experience showing surveys to their customers. They're now able to see real time the feedback that their customers are giving to them as they go through the branch. Now, I have a minute 25 left, and you might think, well, we've done the entry and exit, so is he wrapping up the discussion now? But in fact, quoting someone famous who's now dead, there's one more thing. Um, Ron <laughs> it has a sweet tooth, and his financial institution has a cross-promotional deal with some of the local community businesses. In this case, the local community business is a cupcake shop. In the past, financial institutions who were building these kinds of promotional deals with their partner businesses would need to let their customers know about them through their traditional marketing channels and rely on the customer to know about the deal themselves. Let's see how this looks like with Beacon Technology. Ron enters that cupcake shop that is in partnership with his financial institution, and voila, he gets a notification. He opens it up, and what is it? How do you feel about that 10% off? High five. All right, um, and there he goes. He gets his uh, cupcake, and he chows down on it. His financial institution shows that they're attentive to his needs, that they're relevant to him outside in the community. They're able to delight him. And for their partner businesses, they're able to show themselves as great partners. These are just a few examples of how you can use the Beacon technology. We know you have a lot of ideas. We're excited to hear about them. Come visit us at our booth.